Hello Year 8, welcome back to another week of learning with mathematics. Today we've got a new topic, da da da, I hope you guys are excited, um, but I heard that you guys do like my jokes, thank you very much. So I'm going to start with another one. What did the triangle say to a circle uh, during their argument? What's the point? Ah, uh, because circles don't have a point, it's round, okay. Very good. All right, new topic today. So I hope you're ready. Um, so we are doing this new topic and it's gonna be called ratios and rates. Okay, now hopefully you guys have heard of these before. Um, it's all about comparing different quantities. This is a very, very useful, practical topic. I'll show you just how practical in a little bit. Um, but I just want you to write just a couple notes here. Whoops. A couple notes here on, on what a ratio is. Okay, so a ratio, very simply, is it compares two or more quantities, and here's the important part, it's of the same unit. Okay, I'll explain what that means in a little bit. Right now, and a ratio is also expressed as A dot dot B, um, but we normally say A to B, um, and so it means A dot dot B, and it's also very important to note that the order is important. So which number goes first and which number goes second, that's going to end up being really, really important. Now, you ask me, okay, where are ratios used in the real world? Well, let me tell you, I use ratios every day, every morning, without fail. It is so important to me. Do you know why? Now, I wonder if anyone here drinks coffee, but I'm going to show you a little bit of my morning routine. So this is me. That's my dog. I don't know if you can see him. That's Pablo. Um, so what I like to do is I like to make my coffee every morning. I don't know if you saw, but I put 20 grams exactly. Uh, into my grinder and I start grinding it up. Now what I do is I wait for the water to hit 93 degrees, that's 91, 92, 93. I kind of wash out the, the thing and then what I do is for every one gram of coffee that I put in, I need to put in 15 grams of water, right? So one gram of coffee is 15 grams of water and I don't know if you can see there, I put in 20 grams of coffee and so I need to have exactly 300 grams of coffee um, or once I pour all the water I need exactly 300 grams now the reason I need this is so my coffee is not too strong it's not too weak and yeah don't mind my um, my bench it's a little bit messy because I make coffee a lot right now if you guys drink coffee too you probably shouldn't at this age but maybe if your dad does or your mom does you will know exactly what I'm talking about ratio is super duper important Okay, now I'm going to show you just a little bit on how these questions might work and then I'll show you how ratios uh, will come about. Okay, so here's four questions that I have designed on, um, yeah, coffee, because I like coffee. Um, so I'm, I'm going to say here the ratio of a great pour over, that's the, cof that's the coffee I just made, is one part coffee grounds to 15 parts water. And if you're taking notes, the water has to be 93 degrees, okay? Now, what we the first question that they might ask is, we want to write down the ratio of coffee to water. So here we can see that I need one part coffee grounds and 15 parts water. So to write down the ratio of coffee to water, notice how it says coffee to water. That's my hint there. So I have one part coffee. And I'm going to do those two dots and then I'm going to have 15 parts water. So that would be one to 15. Is that making sense? hopefully. Now question two would be pretty straightforward as well, but now we, let's read this one. It says write down the ratio of water to coffee. So now that I'm starting with water first, I want to say how many parts of water do I have now? I have 15 parts of water and to coffee I'm only going to have one part of coffee. Now see how the order matters depending on how they ask the question. So when you're reading the questions make sure you stick with whatever order the question gives you. If it's coffee to water, then you the coffee parts first, water, part, water parts next. If it's water to coffee, you start with the water first, then the coffee next. All right, now, one thing that you guys will start to learn as we do this topic is ratios are kind of like, they're kind of like sideways fractions. So if you guys aren't very confident with your fractions, I suggest that you maybe we do a little bit of work through them and, and I'll also make sure that we do some work together. But I want you to think about this. Write the fraction of the mix that is coffee. Right now, how many parts of coffee were there 
in this mix of um, how many parts of coffee grounds sorry was in this mix altogether so let me write that down so not just coffee but i'm talking about the coffee grounds okay so there's one part that is coffee grounds but how many parts are, are there all together? Now, some of you guys would be thinking, mm, it's 15, right? But there's actually not 15 parts. There's 15 parts of water and one part coffee. That means all together, there's actually gonna be 16 parts altogether. So out of this whole mix, one part out of a total of 16 is gonna be coffee, okay? Because one plus 15, there's 16 parts all together. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Now, if I was to do something similar, but this time I want to write the fraction of the mix that is water. All right, so again, I'm going to write a little bit of a fraction. And how many parts of this was water? Well, we can see here there was 15 parts here that was water. And we figured out from the last question that how many parts are there all together? If there's 15 parts water, one part coffee, there's going to be 16 parts all together. Right now, maybe that might be worth going over again and looking over, but a lot of the questions that we'll start to look at for today will be kind of along these lines of writing down the ratios and finding the fraction, um, writing down your ratio as a fraction. Hope that helps. Um, have a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.